Hello everyone, today I want to show how you can edit your design with Midjourney's new in painting feature to create variations of it. I have been experimenting with this for a while now and some of my favorite use cases are generating alternative versions of the facade design or imagining the same building in different environments. In addition to that, I will show you how you can use a similar workflow to edit your own images or real photos instead of Midjourney images. First, I started to generate my base image from Midjourney. You can see the prompt I have used here. I started with a pretty basic one and then kept iterating on top of it. My goal was here to create an image from the side or corner in this composition instead of a direct front view. This one is not bad so let's try to generate a different design for this corner part. Once you like an image first we need to upscale it and then we need to click this very region button. After that a pop-up window will appear where you can mark the area you want to edit and regenerate. Make sure your remix mode is open from the settings, otherwise you won't be able to add a new prompt. You can mask out the area either with the rectangle or lasso tool and then we can write the new prompt for the in painting. Since this prompt will only affect the area we marked, we can focus specifically on the new generation. So we don't need to add other details for the environment and the surroundings because it will analyze the base image and the new generation will fit the same style, environment and lighting. Here are some of the options we generated. Of course, this is more of a conceptual study to see what can be done with this feature. In a couple of minutes, we will see how we can edit your own images to create variation ideas on top of them. Let's choose this one and now keep the newly generated part the same and try to see it in different environments by changing the surrounding parts. I will do the same workflow but now we'll mask out the whole canvas but the middle part. It does a really good job of understanding the overall mood and the vibe of the image and generate something that will fit in so it doesn't look so artificial or edited. I kept repeating the same process for a couple of times more and here is the final version. In addition to this I have created a couple of other images like this one. In the other ones, my goal was focus more on seeing how a building could influence its surroundings and urban context and how the facade design will affect the final look even for a relatively minimal project. Of course, I am aware of the fact that most of these facade designs are not so realistic or doable. It will be related to the actual design of the building layout and the room position and sizes, but it could be fun to play with different kinds of facade options on your own project to come up with different styles and designs. Personally, in my previous projects, coming up with different design ideas for this facade base was always one of the more challenging parts of the process. But it is not possible to do this with Midjourney because you can't upload your image and keep it the same. Let's say this is the project we want to work on and we want to see different alternatives for this facade on top of this. I will simply open it on Adobe Photoshop to edit it with Firefly. And you don't need to use the beta version anymore because last week Photoshop got an update so now we can use Firefly with a commercial license directly there. If you haven't used generative field before, all we need to do is select the area we want to regenerate with the selection tool and then choose generative field. Describe what you want to add and hit generate. Similar to Midjourney, it will analyze the whole image and create something within the same style. Adobe Firefly is definitely one of the easiest one to use and the most accessible tool for many people, but it is quite limited at the moment because the only control we have it's the text input and that's all that's why if you want to explore more alternatives and learn a bit more deeper you should definitely try this with stable diffusion it lets you have way more control over the whole process for example you can sketch something on top of the image and let the AI use that as an input during the generation process here is a quick example of that workflow I will share a more detailed video about this soon so please let me know if you are interested and let's see the final images from different platforms. I have put all of the tools, platforms and resources I mentioned in the video in the description below. You can find more similar images and videos on my Instagram. Feel free to check all of them there. Let me know what you think about this workflow please. Would you use it in your next project something like this? I hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.